it's holding us from doing the work of God. Let's continue with the story. And God said to Moses, throw it down. Whoever seeks to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life will preserve it. That's Luke 17.33. And what did Moses do? He did it. He threw it down. Instinctively, he threw what, what was on his hand. What if God asked us to throw what's on our hand right now? Are we able, are we able to do it? Will we be able to do that? Can we let go of those past? Can we let go of those hatreds that we have? Can God ask us now? Your life is not truly yours until you, you return it to Him who gave it to you in the first place. God gives us life. And until we return it to Him, that is not completely ours. March of this year, um, I think that the first episode I had was March 2. Lyndon was not home, and my chest was, it, I felt it was so heavy and I cannot breathe. The good thing was, my sister was there and the driver wasn't home, so they, they took me to the hospital. I thought it was just an ordinary episode of my respiratory problem that I was suffering for many, many years. Uh, I went to many doctors, they gave me um, asthma medicine, uh, they gave me medicine for depress uh, depressants, for anti-stress, and all other mental medicines, but it didn't work. So I was suffering for that for many, many years. Uh, that was the first episode. Uh, they just let me take some medication for, for my asthma, and I went home. After a week, I came home with a fever. So I went back to the hospital. The doctor asked for an x-ray. He said that my breathing is really, really bad. Um, the result came and my left lung collapsed. It means it cannot extend. I cannot breathe and I will not be able to breathe properly until there is an intervention. So he made sure, you can go home today if you don't because they asked me to be admitted in the Metropolitan Hospital. 